What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So iOS 18 Beta 2 has only been out for a couple days now, but we have enough information to cause pause and possibly not recommend you installing it on your primary device like Apple always says. Now, having said that, if you want some of the new features, there are some good reasons to try the beta out. Specifically, Beta 2 now has RCS enabled in messages, so that's always nice to see. It's very cool finally on an iPhone to have read receipts, uh, typing notifications, and delivered status as well. But there are a couple of callouts here that might cause pause and maybe say, let's wait till we get beta three. Let's jump right into it. Okay, one of the main callouts right off the bat is going to be battery life. So unsurprisingly, and as expected, battery life in beta two has taken a significant drop over what it was even from beta 1 and obviously from a stable build of iOS 17. Uh, there are a significant amount of contributing factors here. The phone has been getting warm, so it's obviously going to drain it quicker because everything's not optimized. But yes, expect to charge your phone multiple times a day if you are using this. Another call out that I just want to show you is just how much it's wrecking battery capacity. So. As we started this beta only a couple weeks ago, we have steadily lost about a percent of capacity each week. I'm hoping this won't stay true until the end, but for now, we did lose two extra percent of maximum capacity since using this beta. That alone should deter a ton of people from actually wanting to download it, but I just wanted to let you know that that still stands. Aside from that, we have had some other issues, um, whereas the app icons actually, whereas you see them right now, they look perfectly fine. Uh, they basically show you nothing. It is very weird. It will give you the description of what it is, but it will not actually show the icon. Let's show you exactly what that looks like now. So as you can see here, it just sometimes does not want to generate the app icons that you traditionally would see. It just shows as if there was no icon. Uh, the only way to really get rid of this is to restart the phone. It seems to be triggered via dark mode. So we have our shortcut action button here set to turn it on and off. And you could see even glitches here where Apple's icons aren't going from light mode to dark mode. But that seems to be what triggers all this. However, it does not go away by just turning it on and off. You can't long press and go into edit and customize. You can't change it. To where they'll come back it, it's very annoying and it is very prevalent in this build another bug that's present which isn't crazy if you go to call somebody let me go let me just dial this number right here when you call and go to end a call sometimes it hangs up here on that screen just an extra second longer where nothing will actually happen it kind of just freezes also on calls a lot of call failed are happening, and when you go to dial again, it will ring through to whoever your recipient is. However, sometimes it'll still show call failed on the screen once you hang up, and it kind of causes the phone app to glitch out. Very intermittent there, it's not consistent, but the main issues here are battery life and all of these icons, because a lot of us go off of app icons for what to select. We know where things are on our home screen, but this could be very, very annoying to say the least. Quick video for you guys today. Let me know what you guys think. And if you are already using beta two of iOS 18, have you found any other significant bugs that you would recommend to deter other viewers from downloading? Let us know, comment down below. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.